First Step Home was created back in 1993, years before the opioid crisis hit the tri-state to help women with substance abuse issues. Margot Spence is now the CEO and president, and she's here today to talk about the Rose Award celebration in honor of their 25th anniversary. Margot, thank you for being here. Thank you for inviting me. I'm glad to be here. Very excited. <laughs> 25 years of helping women with substance abuse issues. Yes. How does it feel? Oh, it's very exciting to see the way that women come through the doors and then to see them go through our services and graduate. It just really warms my heart and knowing that they're able to bring their children with them is something very special as far as I'm concerned. Uh, so, Margo, you, you mentioned services. What yes. type of services does your nonprofit offer? We provide residential treatment for drug and alcohol treatment as well as mental health. We provide outpatient services, on-site daycare, and also housing for the women because we believe it's not just about the recovery, but they have to change their entire lives. So it's a long-term treatment, and that's why it's important to have also the housing connected with the treatment services. It sounds like you all take care of the whole woman. Absolutely, and that's very critical. Okay, so let's talk about the Rose Award okay. celebration. Yes. What can we expect? It is an absolutely beautiful event. Uh, this is probably, I believe, our sixth year in having it. Okay. It's at the Women's Club, which is a beautiful setting itself. We will celebrate the women, volunteers, donors that have been supporting our agency throughout the years. Our first award will go to the first executive director, and she was also one of the founders of the organization, a very dynamic woman by the name of Annie Bennett, and she's still very active with First Step Home as an advisory member. Okay. So how do you go about picking the winners to to honor? You know, that's a very hard task because we have so many people that help us. We certainly could not do this business by alone, but these are the individuals that have gone far, far above what others do. It's a very difficult process, but we have a committee that makes recommendations and we vote. Who are the most outstanding individuals for this? We all have an emerging leader award, which will go to Kelly Firesheets who is really a leader in this whole opiate crisis situation. Also, we have a foundation, and that's the, uh, uh, I'm sorry, no it's the Cluck uh, Foundation, Laura and Joseph. Okay, mm -hmm. and one more thing, Mona Morrow will be the MC. She works here at Channel 9. Yes, and this is the second time she's going to be our, our MC for this event. Outstanding, and okay. she's been very supportive of us, of us on many different levels as well. Well, Mona is supportive of everybody here at Channel 9, too. Yes. Margo, thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yes, ma'am. Right. As we